So I've dealt with multiple outputs in contact. So now I am going to show you how to do the same thing in Independence LE, which comes free with Samplitude 10. So I will click here on the plugin slot in track one and select Magic Synth Independence LE. And there is the familiar routing dialog. We need to select multi-channel, create new tracks for instrument outputs, stereo mono standard, and tick audio MIDI combined tracks, also send MIDI. First thing I need to do is to make sure that the correct MIDI channels have been assigned within Samplitude. So right click on S1 here. And as you can see, output channel is set to all. This needs to be set to one to match MIDI channel one in Samplitude. Track two should be MIDI channel two. Three goes to three. You can see as I click on the arrow, the track highlighting moves down one track and track four needs to be set to MIDI channel four. That should do for now. I'm only going to be using four tracks for this particular tutorial. So the next thing I'm going to do is load some instruments within independence. And it says O1, click here to load an instrument. So left click and there's a menu. I think I'll go for electronic drum kit one. Then click on add layer. Then left click again on O2 new layer. So there's some bass, I'll load that. Add layer, left click, go for mm, electric piano, I think. And finally, new layer four. Let me see, I'll go for synthesizer, October pad one should do. They are assigned automatically to channels one through four. Let me just check they're working correctly. So that's working okay. Next thing we need to do is make sure we have the audio outputs within independence assigned correctly. This is very important for multiple outputs. So we need to click here where it says mixer to open the mixer window. And where it says show hide, go to show only layers. So that filters out just the four layers that we've assigned instruments to. So if you look just above the solo mute button there and look at stereo 01, that's the correct output assignment for track one. So track two needs to be reassigned to stereo 02. So left click and select stereo 02. And the same with track three, stereo out 03. And finally with four, stereo out 04. So that means they're all assigned to the correct outputs. I'll close the independence plugin for now. Now click on the manager tab and open up the VSTI manager. You'll notice that it shows eight stereo tracks and eight mono tracks further down. We won't be needing the mono tracks, so we can delete those. That can be easily done by moving down and clicking on the track tab. Then it's just a matter of shift selecting the unwanted tracks and hitting delete, and they're all gone. So that leaves us with four stereo outputs assigned to instruments and four spare in case we need them. Let me try something. I'm going to record a few MIDI parts using MIDI overdub mode, which allows multiple passes. Bit of hi-hat. Now for some bass. Q which quantizes the performance. 
nice bit of lift music there. Anyway, that's basically how you assign multiple outputs in independence. So until next time, goodbye for now.